When you're shopping for sunglasses like these, you'll definitely notice that some are labeled polarized. And while you probably know that these help reduce glare and they're usually a little bit more expensive and higher quality, you might not know exactly what polarized means. So I'm going to talk to you about that in this video. You see, when light reflects off a lot of surfaces like water and road surfaces, it actually has an orientation when it reflects. It's usually horizontally directed. So what sunglasses do is they'll have microscopic vertical strips that you can't really see or maybe the material they're made out of or coated with are just so that it actually blocks out the horizontal light and only lets through vertical light. And that reduces a lot of glare that would come from the horizontally oriented light from a reflection. Now that's the basics of sunglasses, but there's obviously other types of polarization that you might have heard of. There's also something called circular polarization which is when light actually is rotating around, the wave is rotating, and different types of materials or coatings allow for only one type of rotation of light to go through. So that's actually how 3D works. When you wear glasses, one lens allows one rotation direction through, and the other allows the other rotation direction. So when you have, are watching a 3D TV, one of the eyes that is supposed to be viewing the TV image is getting one rotation and the other the other rotation. So while you used to have to have two different colors where it would be red and blue and one eye glass would filter out blue and one would be red so you would get the two images and it would look 3D instead of being red and blue which would distort the colors obviously now you get two different rotations of light, which doesn't affect the color, but it's still able to block out one side. So that's how you get this 3D effect from 3D TVs. So you have different types of polarization. You have the ones with the sunglasses, which usually blocks out just one horizontal direction. And you can even block out vertical if you wanted, but usually it's, it blocks out horizontal. And then if you have other purposes, like for a lens filter, or if you're doing 3D, it can actually block out rotations of light. I'm not going to get into the physics, mostly because I don't understand it, and it will take a while to learn about it, but that's the basics. I'm going to link you a video that I learned about circular polarization that was really helpful and really interesting if you want to sit through it. It's a little bit longer than this, but I definitely recommend watching it because there's some other cool stuff it talks about in there. So I'll put that in the description, and I hope this helped with learning about polarization, what it really means. So be sure to subscribe, leave a comment on your thoughts, like the video, and also follow me on Twitter. The links are all in the description. Like me on Facebook, that kind of stuff. And thanks for watching.